Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I realize this is a rather open-ended question, but what do you do with your internet connection? I, I'm assuming that most of my YouTube audience loves to game. It's fine. Some of you might even use the web for research. You might use it to have fun in other ways. You may use it to collaborate with others, no matter where they live, uh, you know, participate in community activities and beyond. Uh, but have you ever considered using this technology to make yourself better? Uh, to engage your mind and your spirit. And I do believe we all have a spirit, although I still question whether or not half of you have a mind. Regardless, uh, I would hope to engage those of you who would use the resources that we've uh, uncovered for you to make yourself a better person. I've got an article linked in the, de the description for this video. Uh, five web apps to engage your mind and spirit. I'm going to go ahead and plus one this. That makes, that makes it a, a better article, really, when you share it with others. If you like what you read and what you see and what you watch, like it, share it, get the word out. That will make someone else's life better, and you would have a hand in that. I'm going to go ahead and tweet and like that on Facebook as well. Uh, one particular option that could help you uh, really you know, open your mind a little more and engage your spirit, if this, then that, ifttt.com. We've talked about it as really a power tool for social media, if you've not checked it out, if you didn't catch any of our earlier videos, that's certainly something you'd want to pay attention to. Uh, you can essentially make different uh, conduits between one social service and another, like email or SMS or anything that allows you to connect Twitter with something else. This will provide that bridge for you. If this, then that. We found a couple of recipes that may help you uh, better engage your mind uh, to connect, really, with the out. It's all, we're just, we're just one big happy family here, honestly. Probably didn't think of using if then if this then that for something like that before, but now you do. Thinkery, it's an application that's uh, kind of like Evernote of sorts. Um, you know, if you put your thoughts in Thinkery, you can always get access to them later, and it's built with that idea in mind to help you keep your ideas somewhere. Organize those thoughts. Don't just let them be fleeting. You know, disappear into the ether that is the normal span of time. Uh, a Herc is another one, and uh, A Herc, according to the article that we've shared here, is a goal-motivated software uh, that or application that provides or is currently in the process of being in, uh, beta tested. So you have an opportunity uh, to join that testing process. Uh, but it basically works by having you set a goal for yourself, and you know the key of setting goals is to make sure that they're attainable. I can sit here and say, I want to be an astronaut. I am doing everything that I shouldn't be doing if I really wanted to be an astronaut. That is not a realistic goal. It would be a more realistic goal to say, I want to have a sip of espresso. I have now succeeded in that goal. Now, it would be a completely different goal entirely if I said I wanted to be a barista. Then I, I could do that. I could attain that. But I would have to make sure that I was on track with those goals. A Herc may be able to uh, help you. Uh, another opportunity for you to organize and keep your life heading on a right track, Simply Noise. It's an app that you can download to help you mask thoughts and or the noise from outside, uh, let's say, distractions. So eliminate all those things that you don't need to be dealing with to deal with the things that you do need to be paying attention to. And that, I think, is a greater challenge uh, for most people who do things online. We get distracted. Getting rid of the noise, and sometimes that includes uh, turning off some of the entertainment options to make sure you can get the things done that need to be done. Otherwise, what are you doing? I mean, maybe you, you don't have to worry about paying the bills. Hey, lucky you. We, unfortunately, are not all in that same boat. But we do need to sleep and a website that may be able to help you, uh, give you a better idea on when you should sleep, is Sleepy Time. It's spelled Sleepy Time, only it's a .me at the end. It's not a .com, it's sleepytie.me, Sleepy Time. Uh, and with this, you can uh, uh, basically better uh, track and uh, better support your sleeping habits. Did you realize that it, on average it takes 14 minutes for a person to fall asleep? It's true. And I suppose it's about right. My mind is always spinning. My mind is always... And I look for technology solutions to help make my entire life better, personally or professionally. If you have any other suggestions that can help us keep a healthy mind and a spirit, 
feel free to share them, even, either in the comments here uh, with a blog post or the video uh, or anywhere, really. I would appreciate that, and we, we hope that uh, you liked what we have to share, and if you did, hopefully you will share it as well. I'd like that.